Every colossal entity had its humble beginnings, much like how every giant was once a baby, though we might not have witnessed that early stage of their development. Offering us a glimpse into the formative years of the universe, NASA's cutting-edge space telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope, has unveiled mysteries that were previously beyond our grasp. In June 2022, this remarkable telescope captured a deep field image, revealing a plethora of galaxies in the farthest reaches of space. Embark on a cosmic discovery with us. Subscribe now to dive deep into the mysteries of the universe. Suddenly, galaxies emerged from the depths of time and space, making themselves known. The universe, at that moment, began to appear far more enigmatic than we had ever imagined. These galaxies seem to emerge from what we consider to be the dark ages of the universe, casting doubt on the validity of our cosmic model. And it wasn't just a few galaxies that made an appearance. The Webb telescope identified hundreds of them. Notably, one of these galaxies, named Maisie's Galaxy by Austrian astronomer Stephen Finkelstein, was discovered on his daughter's birthday adding a personal touch to the cosmic revelation. Initially believed to have formed almost immediately after the Big Bang and cosmic timescales, further analysis with advanced equipment revealed that Maisie's galaxy is approximately 100 million years older than initially thought. Nevertheless, this doesn't diminish its significance as the oldest observed galaxy, forming a mere 390 million years after the Big Bang. However, this record may soon be contested, as the search team is currently assessing about 10 other galaxies that could potentially be even older. The observation of these galaxies challenges our previous assumptions, with massive galaxies appearing sooner than anticipated. Fabio Pascucci of the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics notes, We're seeing a rise of massive galaxies faster than we previously thought. Some of these early galaxies are estimated to be just tens of millions of years old, with potential implications for the large structures of dark matter, known as halos, which, according to our cosmology, shaped these early galaxies. While some early universe candidate galaxies pose challenges and may even challenge our models, the first among them may be a class of galaxies identified by a team of scientists at the Swinburne University of Technology in Australia. These galaxies, with billions of solar masses comparable to the Milky Way, were estimated to exist a mere 750 million years after the Big Bang. These galaxies, ranging from 10 to 100 times larger than previously observed galaxies from this era, are densely packed into structures 30 times smaller than our own Milky Way. What adds to the intrigue is the apparent hosting of a significantly higher number of stars than we initially believed possible. This challenges the very foundations of our understanding of how massive structures evolve over time according to the standard cosmological model. Recall what Michio Kaku mentioned last year when these early galaxies appeared in web images? Well, that's the issue. The James Webb Space Telescope is disrupting our existing understanding. Suddenly, we're confronted with the realization that we might need to rewrite all the textbooks on the early universe. It traditionally took many billions of years to form a galaxy like the Milky Way, with its 100 billion stars and considerable age. However, the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies existing just half a billion years after the Big Bang, and they're up to ten times larger than the Milky Way. This challenges expectations. Primordial galaxies should not be larger than the Milky Way and only half a billion years old. Something seems amiss, and we may have to reconsider our theories about the universe's creation. That was last year. Since then, we've discovered even more distant galaxies. Recently, the Webb Telescope detected Milky Way-like galaxies at the universe's edge, which, according to our current physics, shouldn't exist. Many early galaxies, like those detected by JGWC, were rich in glowing gas, so bright that the gas itself could outshine emerging stars. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, 
is also a spiral galaxy with a similar bar. Scientists suspect that the Milky Way's bar rotates rapidly, funneling gas into the galaxy's center and sparking bursts of star formation. Astronomers used to believe that a specific galactic structure signaled the end of a galaxy's formative years, suggesting it would only be found in older, fully matured galaxies, perhaps those halfway through the universe's evolution. Early observations with the Hubble Space Telescopes led scientists to think that barred galaxies were rare in the early universe. However, our understanding of the early universe is undergoing a significant shift. Recent data from the Webb Telescope challenges the notion that barred spirals only emerged recently. The discovery of spiral galaxy Sears 2112 indicates that galaxies resembling our own existed nearly 12 billion years ago, when the universe was only 15% of its current age. Sears 2112 was observed at a redshift of 3, corresponding to when the universe was 2.1 billion years old. This means the light from the galaxy took nearly 12 billion years to reach the James Webb Space Telescope. This finding is surprising because galactic bars in the Milky Way are believed to have formed around 4 billion years into the universe's existence. The standard model of cosmology predicted that early universe conditions would prevent the formation of such barred galaxies. Yet, here we are. Even theoretical predictions from cosmological simulations struggle to reproduce such systems at those early epochs. So what's missing in our models? Scientists associated with the discovery acknowledge that something might be missing. The surprising twist. Scientists believe that about 85% of all matter in the universe is dark matter, a mysterious substance that doesn't interact with light. Dark matter is thought to have played a crucial role in galaxy evolution and star formation from 380,000 years after the Big Bang. However, the new findings about Galaxy Sears 2112 indicate that its evolution, at least, was dominated by ordinary matter rather than dark matter, around 2 billion years after the Big Bang. This discovery is significant, confirming that the galaxy's evolution was driven by baryons, the ordinary matter that makes up everything we see, rather than the overabundant dark matter. This revelation is groundbreaking, considering the prevailing expectation of dark matter's predominant role. It reflects the exciting times we're in, marked by the James Webb Space Telescope unveiling unexpected secrets. We're living in an era witnessing a transformative phase in cosmology, and the mysteries of the universe are becoming more accessible than ever. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe to Cosmic Discovery 